Hey guys, this is just a video explaining how a single switch controls a single light. Uh, there's two ways to do it. Uh, the first way is looping at the light, which is the top switch and top light. And the second way is looping at the switch, which is the bottom switch and the bottom light. If looping at the light and looping at the switch confuses you and you don't know what I'm talking about, I have another video that explains both these two methods on paper and it's called How Is Your House Wired? I'll link that above where you can click on it and have a look at that and this might make a bit more sense. So let's get started. What cable am I using? Uh, I'm using TPS 1.5 millimeter two core and earth cable in both methods um, and I'm using a twin active 1.5 millimeter in the looping at the light method. Uh, that is not required in looping at the switch method in Australia and possibly New Zealand, you'll probably see your lighting cable between 1mm and 1.5mm. Uh, that just means it's the cross-sectional area of the copper conductor that carries um, the current. So let's get started. How does both methods work? So let's turn on our RCBO at our switchboard. That gives power through to our junction box, which I've just used to join both our methods, the hard active for both our methods. And that, let's just run through the looping at the light first. The hard active comes out and joins, comes back out to the light and runs into the looping terminal. Then out of the looping terminal, it is joined with the red of the twin active down to our common. When the switch is turned on, the light turns on because the switch closes between common and one. And then the power flows back through the white active conductor to the terminal on the light. The white active and the black neutral, it doesn't matter which way they go polarity wise on a batten holder but on a surface socket or something like that, it will. So just follow the color coding and the earth is labeled there. And the hard actives just join in the looping terminal. That's just a dead terminal, which pretty much acts as a connector. The looping at the switch method is very similar. Um, it's used a lot more these days from probably from the nineties onwards. Um, looping at the light method is probably from the 90s um, and back. Um, both methods are still seen today um, in renovations. Um, at the front of the house, an old house might have looping at the light and then they've decided to renovate and they've just picked off a hard active from the light in the front of the house and ran it to the back of the house to their first switch in the new area and then they've just continued with looping at the switch method at the back of the house. With looping at the switch, same thing applies. The power flows through our RCBO from our switchboard through on our hard active, which is the red one, to our common. Our neutrals and earths just join at the switch. The neutrals will be either in a connector or in the looping terminal, which is just a dead terminal, which acts as a connector. I prefer the neutral in a connector because it just provides a better connection overall, in my opinion. Uh, the earths will be either in a connector or soldered, taped back on the TPS. So when the hard active comes through into the common and you turn the switch on, it'll switch between common and one and it'll go up this red active conductor to the light. And these are the connections here. So that's it guys, that's how a single switch controls the single light um, in the looping at the light method and the looping at the switch method. If you were to add another light off both of these methods with the looping at the switch method, it's quite simple. You just join your active neutral and earth together in here and run that over to another light and just daisy chain. With looping at the light method, 
you would have to join your neutral and earth together and your red from your two core and earth with your white active conductor from the switch join those together the neutral earth and the white with the red active conductor over to the next light and then just daisy chain just like I did with that one so that's it guys if you'd like to see more uh, video content like this um, let me know below what you'd like to see um, if you haven't already uh, please like share and subscribe um, it's a great way to support uh, the channel um, thanks lights out